Hello and welcome to your September 2023 general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. You are watching Thomas's Tarot Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we do here, Sagittarians, we will divide the reading into sections. So it's a little bit easier to actually um, understand and get, if that makes sense. So we will look at the overall energy for the months of September for the sign of Sagittarius, before we then look into your emotional core, your emotional core is whether or not there's love coming in, healing that needs to happen, that sort of stuff. And then lastly, we look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of September 2023. Now, this is a general reading. My belief has always been that the person that needs to hear the message will find the video. Now, or the channel. Point is, these are general readings, so not everything may resonate with you, and the, and the energy is always the same. You take what resonates, and whatever doesn't resonate, you just let, you just allow it to fall by the wayside, right? Um, I do hope, however, that the messages you get here are indeed for you. Okie dokie. So, speaking of messages, right? I've been doing this stuff for a long time. But I always say to people, it is just advice. Yes, it is based on observation of stars and the energies are all real. I absolutely believe in it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have a channel that deals with it. But you can still make your own decisions inside the topics. You can even work against the advice, right? Point is, that's another part of it resonating with you. The only way any of these work, any of these messages that, that uh, a reader like myself or, or anyone on any other channel is giving you is to allow to take the messages in, right? I mean, why would you even go to, um, to a channel if you're not interested in guidance, right? So the reason why I make that, that, that little speech here is because, Sagittarius, you are a fire sign. And as such, you will be affected by the fiery uh, um, planets. And in September 2023, good old Mars is so close to Earth that he can't even be seen from the Sun. Now, the aspects of Mars in September are plentiful and the only mm, maybe massively influencing energy that Mars um, has, um, yet again, it is just a fiery energy that, that your soul imprint uh, um, can feel. It is not your governing planet, Sagittarius, but it will oppose the wounded healer Chiron on September the 24th. So that is the one day that you should mark in your diary um, where you may be out of bounds with your emotions. And um, the reason why I mentioned Mars in the first place is because Mars is the energy for all signs, especially fire signs. That sort of in influences, affects our energy levels. Now, logically thinking, you would think that, well, you know, if this is about our, our energy levels and then Mars is close to the sun, you know, shouldn't that mean that I'm up and running? And you would be mistaken. It is not. It is because Mercury is so, uh, sorry, Mars is so close to the sun that what happens is, is that they interfere energetically with one another. And what that means is that, unfortunately, you will be one of the fire signs, obviously. So you will likely feel in September a little more drained than the non-fire signs. Now, remember, this is still individual. Not everybody feels that way. But in my experience, if there is something happening that has to do with elements and your element is fire, 
Um, I would take that seriously. Just be aware that you might not get into your full mojo in September, and that's perfectly fine. In any case, shall we have a look what we got for you guys? This is, like I said, the September 2023 reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Um, the channel's tagline is nonetheless true, and the tagline is... The sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night, and you are the ruler of your own destiny. I do hope you pay attention to the messages, but what you do with them is entirely up to you. We only here to hopefully help you along the way with the guidance that the guides share with us, um, medium means guy in the middle, perfect, you know. It's almost like a mediator, but it's not quite the same thing. But we're just here to listen to the guides and see what messages come in and, 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 and to a certain extent even just interpret them, right? But because you are affected by Mars's sluggishness in September 2023 plus the one day on September 24th, um, when we're already opposing, when, when, when Mars is opposing the wounded healer, which means you're not going to look at um, your healing and what needs to be looked at. Right? You could argue it's just for one day, but it never really is because we're moving into um, the energy of Virgo on the 23rd of August and both Mercury and Uranus go into retrograde on the same day, which means as we, all of us, you know, collectively move into the energy of Virgo, while Virgos will be most affected by it, obviously. Um, on the 23rd, Virgo is not in its strength. Mercury goes retrograde, which means communication goes out the window. Uranus, which is the planet of, of unexpected and sudden change, if that makes sense. Right? So changes will not be accepted either. So an SU then, on the 23rd, go into that... Um, I don't know what the heck is going on here, energy. And then on the 24th, uh, uh, Mars, which affects your energy levels, um, opposes that part of you that is about your own healing. Make a mental note that around that time, 23rd, 24th, um, you will very likely um, be less capable of dealing with stuff. Now, also, we're moving into autumn, right? So we have the, uh, the, the autumn equinox. Um, and so we're moving from summer, which is a fiery energy, into a much calmer energy, the energy of letting go, all around the same time. Right? So you understand? So just be aware. Just asking you to be, to be aware <coughs> and to not get annoyed with yourself or others. It'll pass. Oh. That was the longest intro I've ever done. <laughs> we haven't even looked at one, at one car. But then again, you know, obviously uh, it's important for the guides uh, to share this with you. How important um, this is for for you as a fire sign. Now the other thing I should probably mention is that when I recorded the other fire signs, that topic did not come up. So, for reasons unknown to me, um, Sagittarius seems to be the most affected by um, what happens to Mars in September. Anyway, ready? Let's have a look. Right, so, Sagittarians. Like I said, we're looking into three different areas of your life. Um, and the overall energy is for you to only focus upon where it is you want to go. Now, the universe is not asking you to have your life planned out because that normally doesn't work out so well either, right? But you have the number 34, 3 and 4 is 7, 7 is the number of the highest protection and healing. So when it comes to your future, when you then in September understand, you know, maybe my now is not so great, right? And the idea is always if your now is shit, how can your future be better? But what they're asking you is not to procrastinate and overthink in the now, but to envision and therefore manifest. Um, sounds a bit weird, but it's just the way I'm getting this. A better tomorrow. Put all your eggs in the one basket. That basket is manifestation. 
Okay, that was the overall energy for the sign of Sagittarius in the month of September 2023. Like I said, please like, subscribe and share. And when it comes to your emotional core, I'm not being shown or told by the guides whether or not there's love coming in or whether or not there's healing that needs to happen in the month of September. Because the guides have one message for you. Whether or not you are going through things that still need to heal or whether or not you are positively pursuing a relationship, either in manifestation or already happening, you have to act and, sounds wrong, but that's the way I'm getting it, confront all the things in this relationship or in your trauma that still hasn't been released um, that need to go. So, sounds a bit weird because it's not really helping as, a, as, a, as an energy. There's nothing where the guys can say, do this and then this will likely happen. It's not how it works. But they ask you to be very proactive. Right? So if you already are aware of issues in your relationship or you may be a person that keeps manifesting the same crap, but that's because you haven't quite let go of the old stuff. Therefore, the universe has no other option because that's the energy you carry to send you someone who fits that energy. You know what I mean? You are asked to be proactive and to confront, this is what I'm getting here, um, what isn't working or at least, if that makes sense, you know, um, be loud enough. <laughs> um, to make a ruckus and so that it can be looked at, right? Okay, and also the the act, uh, the, the act, you know, the power energy here uh, is obviously coming from the first sign, which is Aries, and Aries just goes for stuff. Even though Sagittarius, you're the archer, which means you decide how much energy you give things, so you are much more laid back in many ways. Here you're being asked to be not so laid back, right? So that doesn't necessarily mean that there's tons of issues. It just feels like that there is some stuff that is niggling and it needs to be looked at ASAP and not talking about it or, or, or pussyfooting around it will not work. Luckily, we're coming to the end of this reading because I need a coffee. <laughs> and the energy here with regards to opportunities is refreshing. Because you have the energy of rebirth, you also have the energy of Pluto and you have the number 27. Now, 2 and 7 is 9. Number of completion. Do not, you know, just simply continue what you already know and what you already do, even if you're good at it. There might be something you want to add. There might be a bit more spice that you need to bring into this. So if you feel like, you know, you're just, not that you're stuck in a rut, but if you feel like now, you know, this is not going anywhere. I've been doing the same shit for, 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 for decades, for instance. What the guides are asking you, now is the time to put to rest, hence the number nine, um, what isn't working. And this is all about uh, work here. Uh, in order for you to manifest, so manifestation is a big issue with Sagittarius this month, what you really want. Now, the reason why we have Pluto is because Pluto, in a roundabout way, has always been seen as the oddball. Right, as the one planet that is on the ecliptic but goes very weirdly around it. So while any other planet spends a specific amount of time in each sign, Pluto does not. What that translates to when it comes to opportunities, you can be more daring and you do not have to sell yourself using the same bloody phrases all the time. So what I'm getting is to also have a look at, you know, is it, is it, is it really important to have a CV? For certain things, you will you will be much better in a, in a one to one uh, uh, interview, and I mean one to one. I'm getting this, you know, in person will be will go much further for you than on Zoom or whatever the heck is going on. So should you be that person now? Conversely, should you be self-employed? The guides are still asking you to look at what is working in in your career and what isn't, and let go of what isn't working. And maybe in this the, the, the term that I have been given here numerous times. Maybe I should add something. Maybe there's a thing I can add to things. Maybe there's another angle to my work I should be looking at. That sort of thing, right? Okay, Sagittarians, that was your September 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Before I let you go, please like, subscribe and share. And always remember, the sun is the ruler of the day. 
The moon is the ruler of the night, but you are the ruler of your own destiny. I see you next time. Bye-bye.